Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, we are going to check out this Russian language model, which is a fine-tuned of Quen3 model family. This model incorporates both continual pre-training and alignment techniques and they have trained it on 40 billion tokens of instruction data with one third focused on reasoning tasks. We are going to check it out on various benchmarks, especially catered to the Russian culture and Russian language nuances. Plus, I will also be checking it out specifically for some of the coding tasks. If this is the first time you are visiting the channel, please subscribe and share the video as that helps a lot. I'm going to use Ubuntu system and if you're looking to rent a GPU or VM on very, very affordable prices, you can find the link to mass compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. So I'm going to use this Ubuntu system and I have one GPU card, NVIDIA H100 with 80 GB of VRAM. The tool which I'm going to use in order to serve this model locally not this one, sorry, is VLLM. VLLM um, is one of the fastest inference engines out there, I would say. And if you don't know how to get it installed, what VLLM is, just watch this first video and you should become a hero from zero in VLLM. I can assure you that. And for GUI, I'm going to use Open Web UI. So I'm going to serve this T Pro model locally on my system with VLLM. It is going to detect my CUDA device. And now it is downloading the model. As you can see here, there are 14 shards of it. Hopefully this is going uh, to be quick. So let's wait for it to get installed. And while that gets installed, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are our very good friends at dat1.co that offers serverless AI model hosting with minimal cold start delays, enabling rapid and cost effective deployment. And you will find the link to their website in video's description. And the model is now loaded and you can see that it is consuming over uh, 61 GB and took just under two minutes, I would say. It is still uh, serving the model so let's wait so the model is now being served next up let's spin up our open web ui and i'm just going to first show you my vram consumption because the model is fully loaded onto the gpu consuming over 75 gig of vram and i'm just going to launch my web ui and then i will show it it to you in the browser And there you go, the model is now loaded. Let's test it out. So I am going to give it some of the Russian prompts. So this prompt is uh, asking it to explain the meaning of the phrase, not having a hundred rubles, but having a hundred friends. Rubles is a Russian currency. And if you're a Russian language speaker, please, please um, confirm it in the comments that um, you know if it is good or not and what do you think about it so i'm just going to maybe you know um, run this to see what it produces and then we will check it out it's a reasoning model as you can see it is thinking in russian how good is that always good to see diverse models and we have covered a lot of them in urdu hindi arabic um, german french indonesian a lot of uh, diverse models we have covered on the channel if you're interested just search with them and you should be able to find it okay so this is a google translate i am just going to also check it out so it has thought for this many seconds let's grab this because i'm just going to grab some part of it because google translate has some limit and russian detected so it says is a Russian proverb that emphasizes the priority of human connection over material wealth. It is talking about collectivism versus individualism. Very nice. To me, looks good to uh, as good as as anything. So I will just go up to show you the whole response and just let us know. You know what do you think about this beautiful script here? 
which I think is called a Skrylic if I'm not wrong. Anyway. Okay, let's try out another one. Okay, I'm going to open another chat and I'm going to ask it this prompt now. Now, what this prompt is saying in English is what dishes must be present on a traditional Russian holiday table? Why these ones? So let's see if it is able to detect the Russian uh, dishes. And I'll just show you the thinking. So you see model is understanding the context and the question and then it is going to give us a answer there. So I'll just scroll down to show you. Looks pretty good to me. It is working and please, please confirm to us that if you think that this is grounded and I, I also understand Russia is huge, it's big, so must be diverse from uh, maybe from uh, Moscow to Siberia, it could be quite different, but you know, it is just a general question. Let's see how it goes. I wish I could translate it all in Google Translate, but I um, don't think so I would be able to do it. Anyway, let's wait for it to finish responding and then we will check out the response so it has finished responding and i'm just going to scroll through just to show you what it has produced seems like a very comprehensive very um, nuanced answer and it is smiling too i'm not sure what exactly it is smiling for but let's check it out so i'm just going to put this russian here so it is saying okay so it is understanding that first I'll remember the main holiday dishes like uh, clodets, it's appetizer, then the main dish duck or turkey, it is chicken or turkey, so it is understanding and then soups, borscht, I think I have heard of this one, never drank it, maybe someday. If you're in Sydney and if you could recommend where I could get this soup, I will go and try it out. Let's, I just am curious what exactly it is smiling for so i'm just testing it conclusion so it is festive table is not just food but a book of history wow that's very nice it's very very nice and you you know what i think um quen's quality is also uh, you know oozing through this model and that is why i really really like quen because no matter how you fine tune it it just is amazing a uh, quality model in the next one, I'm going to test out this uh, language precision. So I'm asking it the difference between these two Russians as what is the difference between these two. Now I have just taken it from another model. I'm not sure what exactly it means. So let's see what model says. There you go. It is giving us the response. And now I think it is telling us that, you know, maybe similarities and stuff. And then it is talking about some other stuff. Looks pretty cool. Anyway, I will let it finish and then we'll go from there. And there you go. There is a response for you. And I will just scroll through. Looks pretty good. And this is what I really like that it has even given us the table of differences. I'm not sure if I would be able to translate it properly, but no harm in trying. There you go. So it is talking about, you know, history and all that stuff. Nice. Interesting. Anyway, I will take your advice as what do you think about this difference? Okay. So that is all good and nice. I think language wise, this model looks very, very cool. And finally, what I'm going to do just to show you, I'm just going to test it for coding about palindrome. So I'm just asking it to give me the answer to that. Let's check out the thinking and i just want to see its thinking process there you go so it is thinking in english for the coding one it has just switched to english interesting let's see what sort of answer it gives us whether it would be english or russian maybe just due to this code very interesting so i don't think so this uh, you should be using for coding maybe just or maybe coding is universal you really don't need any but I think thinking should be in English. What do you think? Anyway, let's wait for it to finish. For coding one, and I guess for maths one, it thinks hard and long. 
Okay, thankfully the thinking was in English, it seems, but the response is in Russian, which is always good. And it has given us a proper answer. I can tell it from the code and then how to use it and some of the other tidbits around that code. So look, I think a real good model in Russian. So if you are looking for a Russian language model, just check it out and let me know your thoughts, especially if you are the native Russian speaker. Please like the video and share it. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so as that helps a lot. Thank you for watching.